to, first of all, I'd like to give a special shout out and say thanks to all the subscribers and for watching my channel. Got an unboxing here, got a package from RPP Hobby. Folks, especially kids, if you're using sharp objects or scissors to open up your boxes, make sure you're being safe and you know you don't want to get yourself injured. So now, on to the unboxing. Let's check out what we got. So excited to get this package. Uh, I ordered a couple of small items and some of it would be for my current build. So first up, I got a couple of little items. I've got some six millimeter spacers, or not spacers, uh, hubs. Six millimeter hubs for some 2.2 wheels. Right there, they're RC folder dot items. That one is the R2 transmission. Um, so I might use that on another Jeep Willys build. The six millimeter spacers are so that my wheels don't stick out as far. This is my son's Jeep, Willie's Jeep, custom build from a GI Joe uh, toy that's been turned into an RC. So I've got a couple of sets of those six millimeter hubs so I can have a better spacing and uh, track, narrow down the track width a little bit. These bigger shock hoops for the Galande is going actually into my trail finder too. I'll be using that to get a little bit better flex for the trail finder too. And this bad boy here. That is the brand new Chevy Blazer hard body from RC four wheel drive. So excited about this super detailed body and a lot of great details on this item. Have to dedicate some time to get put into this body. I love hard bodies, just like on those custom Jeeps. So much more detailed than the Lexan bodies. Um, it's got the chrome grill, uh, a lot of functional items, and a lot of thought was put into getting this body. So thank you, RC4WD, for getting this body out to the masses. All right, on to the second part of the unboxing. I'm now ripping apart this Chevy Blazer box and check out what we got inside. First up, inside we got the instruction manual. It's a pretty thick book. There's a lot of details in it and a lot of illustration. So. As I go through the build, I'll make a video also in case there's any challenges that's, that might not be clear on the manual. So, more parts inside the box. Here's the, uh, the part that goes over the bed of the truck. Kind of like the camper shell, if, you, if that's what the right term for it is. It goes over the bed of the truck. And then inside here are other accessories. Alright, moving along, here's the, t the, the hood, and inside that package was also the tailgate pieces for the body. I like the fact that you're able to open them. This piece is the interior, the floor pan, the bottom of the seats, and right there, that's the dash, scale dash, pretty detailed. And in here are some other accessories, the glass pieces, the side mirrors, which are chrome, and the bad boy. Right here, we've got the body, main body of the truck. And right there is where the tailgate would come in. And of course, that opens up. And there's the top cover that goes over the bed. Awesome, awesome details. I'm glad that all these are um, ancillary pieces that can come off the truck. The other half of the seats, the backrest, there's the chrome grill with a bow tie for the Chevy. Awesome detail. Of course, it's gonna need more work to get more detail in there, like weathering, if you wanna make it look old, or if you wanna make it look shiny, like it's a new truck. Um, but since this is an older model truck, I think I'll probably end up putting some weathering into this truck and this build. So there you have it. 
piece blazer chevy blazer it'll be fun building this bad boy and get it out on the trails more videos um, again thank you thank you thank you so much for all the subscribers have hit over 400 subscribers that's two thumbs up thank you so much and thanks for watching the channel as always please like share subscribe and spread the word i appreciate everybody's help on this here's an example of my Louis jeep thanks for watching